What's up YouTube, it's Sebastian. As you guys may know me, I'm an 18 year old entrepreneur in Colorado. I run a detailing company, I own an R34, and I'm also gonna be showing you guys how I flip cars. As you guys may know, I posted a TikTok, it blew up a little bit, and everybody was asking me, how do you flip cars? So yesterday, I went out and I bought one. So we have the Honda Civic right here. Uh, this is my first time actually seeing it in daylight, so. Uh... <laughs> so let's check it out. This is my first take on it. Uh, I actually showed up. I didn't even drive it because the dude who showed up before me was the one who actually drove it. And he told me it drove great. So I was like, fine, I'll buy it. So we have a 2010 Honda Civic with 168,000 miles. And I actually bought this thing for $2,200. So as you guys can see right here, the photos from Facebook were really, really bad. There was no description. And then the mileage was messed up on the uh, on the description as well. He had a post for $2,800. I went there. I offered him $2,000. He did not take it. So he met smack dab right in the middle at $2,200, which is not too bad for a Honda Civic. Whenever I look for cars, I look on Craigslist, Facebook, all that stuff. I also look for really dirty vehicles and cars that haven't re been really cleaned. As you can see on the inside, it is stained. We're on a detailing company, Show Car Auto Spa, so should be too big of a deal. Tell right off the bat, this bumper is messed up. I have a brand new bumper ready for it. The key fob does not work, so I'm gonna figure that out too. There's various like scratches and stuff like that, various dents. This wheel, I'm gonna try to find a new hubcap. It does have a clean title, it was ran into a curb, that's why the bumper's all messed up. I would not buy a salvage and rebuilt title. So the resale value goes extremely down whenever there is a rebuilt or salvage title, uh, so I always make sure that there isn't right when I show up. They're so going into the vehicle. It is disgusting, but it's pretty clean for how it is. The only light we have on here is a TPMS sensor, uh, so that's just for one of the wheels. I believe it's that front left one. We're gonna shampoo all of these. We're gonna bring them right back to new. We're gonna do the carpet, seats, everything. It's already cleared out, so I'm not too worried about it, but it is gonna take some time to be able to deep clean. Mechanically, the car is really, really sound. I drove it, I tested everything, everything works. All the windows work, all the electronics, radio, uh, AC, heat, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, everything mechanically is just cosmetic things guys and that's what I love I love working on cosmetics it's a lot easier than needing a brand new transmission with tax season coming up I think this thing will sell quick uh, you know there's a lot of different seasons for different cars there's toy season in the summer uh, there's also truck season in the fall and winter uh, so I'm super excited to be able to flip this and we'll see how much money we make this morning we're detailing an Audi a4 and then we also have a GTR later today with our mobile van all right so guys I will have a time label right here uh, it's gonna list when the car flipping does start I'm gonna do a run and gun type shooting style uh, where I kind of film my day as an 18 year old entrepreneur and then we're gonna go into flipping cars as well. I know you guys might want to see the van a little bit more. It is our bag detail van, has Brembo's, cool stuff like that. Oh, it is locked, cool. Uh, and it also has S2 Recaro seats. Um, it's pretty cool, so we're gonna be actually moving this today. We also have to move the R34 as well, so let's get right to that. I thought I'd give you guys a few flutters here and there. And here is Josh. Where's his truck? He usually has a truck he drives. <laughs> so as you guys may know from my TikTok, this is Josh. Say hi, Josh. Hi. So he actually details with me for show car. Uh, he's here usually every single day detailing, and we get pretty busy, right? Yeah, a little late today, though. Yeah, only today. So today we have an Audi this morning and then a GTR, like I said earlier. Uh, Josh, what do you think of the Honda Civic out there? Hold on one sec. Let me just zoom that in. What do, you, what do you think of that Honda Civic? That beautiful nice. Honda Civic. What do you think? It's pretty nice. I think we could, you know, lower it, put a put a nice exhaust on it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think so too. So guys, this is our first car. Uh, it's an Audi. It is supercharged. Let's see if we can get this. There we go. Seems like it popped. There you go. Oh, cool. I just gotta hold it. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, that's nice Supercharged, baby. Yeah, so you can see like the leaves and stuff, all the yeah, dirt. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll blow all this out as yeah. well, just so we don't have any left in there. And then we'll put, do a full protective coating on it, uh, just so whenever you do come back, it's yeah. not dirty ever again. That's awesome. So, and then what we could do is sign you up for maintenance wash program. Yeah. And for our maintenance wash program, it's $70 inside and out. And uh, since you already had that paint correction and ceramic coating, uh, we will get you signed up for that. And it comes with a full ceramic shield every single time you come in. Would you be interested in it? We could totally do it the whole day. We'll pretty much book you. Uh, um, until I think I don't know. Do you have time for it? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. We can take care okay. of it today. Well, uh, uh thank you, John. Yeah. For everything. Uh, <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> John says he has something for me. Uh, I don't even know what it is. It's in the trunk. 
Got him one of these. Hey! You know, got him a tripod. Hey, I've been needing a tripod. Hey, thank you, John. You're I welcome, appreciate man. that. You're welcome. Hey, oh, I just dropped hey, your oh, oh, I broke it! Oh, I broke it! All right, we're good, okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. All right. Oh, God, that scared me. Uh, luckily, I didn't do anything to your car. But we'll be <laughs> paint correcting it anyway, so. Uh, luckily, Come on, man! Lu luckily, luckily, it's not metal, it's a plastic piece, so. It didn't really fall too far. But. If you guys need anything done, the link to our website will be in the description. So Josh is staying behind, he's me working on this detail and paint correction. And then I'm going to be going to the GTR appointment at 1pm with a bag detail van. Don't worry guys, we will get to the Honda Civic, it's coming up soon. Got it all aired up, ready to go. Alright guys, as you guys can tell, I'm going to the next detail for the GTR. Uh, it's going pretty smooth back at the garage, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to let Josh do his thing. He does a great job. Uh, he's actually probably a better detailer than me at this point. Hey guys, so we're at Auto Film Solution right now. we got the van all propped up. We're doing GTR today. Check out the inside. It's not crazy dirty. Let's check it all out. It is black, so it's going to be a lot of fun to work on. They're nice enough to let us use their shop to be able to detail in here, so I'm super excited about it. I've actually been wanting to try these tiles because I might get them for the garage myself. Let's get the van all set up and we'll start detailing. So we're starting off first with wheels and tires and then we're going to the interior. Next. So they're coming along pretty good. That's how they were before and that's how they turned out after. Okay, so the R35 GTR is done. Uh, we're actually gonna go back to the house and it should be one more charger after that. Guys, check out how the R35 turned out. This thing is amazing, all black. Doesn't get better in black, unless you have to clean it. That's a bagged van, all aired out. She needs clean though. So now we're gonna head back to the house. We have a charger we have to do later on tonight. Uh, we do have to finish it up because we didn't finish it the other day. Uh, but yeah, let's head there. It's about 4.30 right now. So we got here right around 1.30. This is how the full paint correction and detail came out on this Audi. Check it out. Really turned out amazing. There we guys go. Right. So I'm back at the garage right now uh, from the GTR detail. We just finished the full paint correction and we also did the full detail as well. And I got John right here. He's actually the owner of the car. Give us a little review on the car. It's beautiful, man. It, it pops everywhere it needs to, if, if you oh, know what I mean. Definitely. So paint, the chrome, the white just is, is white. You know, yeah. it's a clear white. You can see it. Um, it just looks beautiful. You know, it, it's better than it when I picked it up, yeah. you know yeah. um, So that's awesome. I'm really happy about that. Just to have it rolling on the yeah. road, you know, stare at it take some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got John right here from the Audi. Uh, he stayed behind us ah, Why not? <laughs> so we stayed behind. We're gonna be driving the R34. He's gonna take a few videos of it You guys asked for the content so I deliver as you guys know this is my 1998 Nissan Skyline R34 Thing is super clean. Uh, so we're gonna take it for a little spin. So we're just getting in this right now. Jonah, are you excited? Dude, this is amazing, dude. Yeah? <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> it's tight though, dude. It's, it's a little tight. It's, it's, a little, it's a little man? cool. I know, I know. <laughs> we should make cars a little bit bigger, to be a honest. Bigger. Guys, this is how I make $20,000 a month flipping cars. All right, guys, so it's the next day. I have the Honda behind me. I'm gonna show you guys what I look for when I'm trying to flip a car. So it has to be a running and driving condition car, and I try to look for under 200,000 miles. This is a 2010 Honda Civic with 168,000 miles. Look for clean titles, no salvage, no rebuild titles at all. There's awful when you're trying to resell the car. As you guys can tell in the listing, there was really no description at all. The mileage was off, and then also the pictures were really, really bad. There was one picture that caught my eye and it was super dirty. I try to find cars that are decently dirty because I'm able to clean them and fix them up and sell them for more. Like, look at how dirty this car is, guys. It's definitely gonna need a good deep cleaning. Now there's a certain way I price my vehicles, just like this one. I actually go on Kelly Blue Book and I type in the fair value for a trade-in. Uh, that's gonna kinda give me a rough estimate of how much I should be paying, but I try to pay below that. And I'll talk about how I price my vehicles later on in the vehicle once we get to selling it. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, when I do show up to see a vehicle just like this one, I'm gonna show you guys what I look for exactly. So as you guys can tell, there is a lot of cosmetic things, like this front bumper and this hubcap, but they did throw in a brand new free front bumper for me. So when I do show up, I like to go over the car, I check out the full inside, 
My first thing is I want to make sure all the electronics work. And that means windows, radio, stuff like that because those can get really, really costly to be able to replace. So after I do that, I like to check the oil, the tires, the brakes, and then I also like to ask the owner about any service, maintenance history, and also any accidents if there was any. Give the car a quick test drive. Make sure there's no brands on the title as well. As long as everything works, AC, heat, brakes, I mean, as long as it runs and drives, I'm totally cool with buying it. But let me tell you guys my plan for this vehicle. I picked it up for $2,200. I'm hoping I can get roughly $4,500 for it. We'll see. I want to see how it turns out first. So the interior, we're going to do a full deep cleaning as well as the exterior. We're going to do the engine bay as well. We're going to try and fix up this front bumper, but it might be a little hard. As you can tell, it's being held by some wires. Uh, it doesn't really look good to me. There's also some screws on this side. See how hard it is to put the new bumper on. And then we're also going to fix up this hubcap as well. Let's get onto the interior just to show you guys what I do once I first get the car. The seats are really important, so we're going to deep clean all of the seats, steam clean, extract, everything you can think of. We'll start by spraying this stuff. It's called Terminator. It's an enzyme spot and stain remover. Uh, this will be our first step to be able to detailing the seats. Just spray it down all the way top to bottom. Starting off with the interior. This is how it is now. And this is how it is after. And just like that. So guys, it's actually clean now. It's not crazy clean, but it's exactly what we need uh, to be able to flip this car as soon as possible. All right, guys, so downstairs, I have a really, really special car to be able to detail today. Uh, you guys see in just a second. And here's the car, guys. It's an Audi R8 gated manual. This thing is sick. And then I got the R34 in the background. This is an insane shot right here. Uh, we're only doing a maintenance wash on this today, so it's not too bad. Uh, we're going to hit the wheels, tires, inside, outside. Look at how sick this car is, guys. I cannot believe I'm actually detailing this right now. We've already detailed it before, uh, but I personally didn't do it. It was one of my employees. Uh, and this thing is so awesome, guys. <clears throat> this thing is so awesome. Check out the inside. It's a full gated manual. I love this car. What do you guys think? R8 or R34? You could tell in the last video, this thing was about to get towed. I'm so caught up with work and I totally lost track. Uh, this was like midnight last night. It was just because I didn't have plates on it, which is totally fine. Now we really gotta get this thing sold. So this morning my mechanic was actually gonna go look for a different bumper, uh, but I'm probably gonna tell him no and just get this thing sold as soon as possible. The van is gone, it's out detailing right now, so what we're gonna do is just do an exterior detail and then an engine bay cleaning, uh, just to be able to get this thing all cleaned up. So right now I'm just degreasing everything, uh, engine bay, floor mats, the whole car pretty much. Uh, this is how the engine bay is before, it was a lot more dirty before I degreased it. Alright, and this is how it all turned out. The engine bay has been fully degreased, dressed, washed, everything. Alright guys, so I know she's not the prettiest, but I got her fully cleaned out. She's pretty much ready to post. I wish I could have fixed the bumper, but I couldn't find one in time. But as you guys remember, the inside was really dirty, but we've luckily cleaned this thing up a lot. Looks a lot different now. There's nothing mechanically wrong with this car, so I'm not too worried about it. Now it's just time to take pictures and get this thing posted. All right, guys, guess in the comments whatever you guys think this is going to sell for. Uh, I'm super excited to see what we get, and I'm going to break down all the numbers when we're taking the pictures. But this thing drives super smooth. To be honest, I would keep this thing if it wasn't for you guys. All right, guys, so this is our flip car in final form. Check it out. She actually turned out really clean. So check out the inside. A lot cleaner than what it was before. Now we didn't do anything with the front bumper, but that's really okay with me. Uh, it's still functional, it doesn't scrape or anything like that. It's really just right here. We're at a gas station, as you guys can see, is it pretty much has the best lighting all the way around. I'm really busy throughout the day, so it's kind of hard to grab good lighting uh, to be able to take pictures. I've gotten really caught up, uh, but I'm actually, I'm really happy I was able to get this thing posted and get some photos of it. But if you guys like, drop in the comment section what you guys think I'll be able to get for this. I really have no clue, but it's a 2010 Honda Civic. It's pretty clean, 168,000 miles. Everything works, really, I've tested everything. Maybe I'll even do a trade series for you guys where I trade up cars and see what I get to. When it comes to photos, I like to grab all the way around, side pictures, inside pictures. I'll throw some of them up right here for you guys to be able to see. Uh, I try to grab as many as I can, engine bay, tires, uh, odometer. It's really important you grab great photos just so you're not messing with people's time. In the next video, I will be showing you guys how much I get for this vehicle. So comment down below how much you think I'll get. Drop a like down below and also subscribe for more. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of R34 content, detailing content, uh, flipping cars, you name it. You guys can follow me along and see where I get as being a young entrepreneur. Here's my TikTok, Instagram, everything. Go follow them and also subscribe. I'll be posting as much as I can. I get really, really busy, but I'm gonna keep up with the content. Oh, there's a, there's a C8 Corvette, guys. 
So if you guys like to subscribe and then push the notification button, you guys will stay up to date on when this next video posts and find out how much I get for it.